Welcome back to Real Damn Studio. This is episode number four. The update on my health here. Uh, we're going to look at some different things. One thing I wanted to kind of cover today is, you know, there's my health issues are part of, you know, why I got so heavy. And although I've always been a little heavy anyways, it just got inflated to worse. I was at 350 at the worst of this. I've hit a few what are called plateaus. Spots is you like start losing weight and you just max where you just can't lose any weight and that's because of water weight. You lose all the water weight then you're down to burning fat and that's where it gets more difficult. So you know I think I've hit another one of those plateaus um, but I do believe I went down in weight still some though. Also, I was going to cover to kind of broaden the scope of, you know, what I'm doing here, is I'm going to go through my medication. Now, the reason why, as well as my vitamins, now that's mostly what I'm trying to get to at the end. But I'm going through my medication so you can see that what happens is a lot of people I know, you know, I know people are out there that do this. You even care comedians on this. Uh, sometimes you get some people bitching on YouTube in this direction, which is they say, Oh, fat people are just fat and they should just get up and walk. Should go exercise. Should, you know, stop eating the sandwiches and, and the pizzas. No, see, that's not the way it always works. Um, I'm eating a very light diet. Lighter than anyone else around me right now. Um, I eat smaller meals. I'm on what's called Mediterranean diet. I've re tried to remove, they sneak in sometimes, but uh, breads, potatoes, uh, just sugars, processed meats. You know, try to get to more natural stuff. Uh, but sometimes, if you're not one of these people that have lots of money, it costs a lot to eat well. Luckily, I'm not eating much, so that's helping. But sometimes, not eating is not enough. Um, I'm working towards walking around the block again. I know some people are like, oh, anyone can do it. No, I can't. It is possible, if your heart gets bad enough, to die before you break a sweat. So... You have to handle it right. Be careful. Do it in stages. Test it. See how it's going. Um, such as I can walk a lot farther on days that aren't windy. The wind takes the air out of me. It's too hard to breathe in that. But one time I came out of the hospital last time, I was on oxygen for six months. So, that's an issue. Now, We go through some different stuff I take here daily. Give you an idea. It's a lot of pills. And uh, some of these I'm mentioning because if you take some of these pills, you'll understand. You'll you'll see the difficulty some of these add to losing weight. So I have vitamins that will help. So if you're finding yourself a lot of the same medication and you're trying to lose weight. Take some notes on this. Now, for starters, which I'll talk more about in my next um, episode, uh, because of neuropathy, I take lots of gabapentin. I'm at the max amount. I take six, 600 pa you know, pills a day. So, you know, that's fun. I got a little Cinepro. I take that twice a day. There's a little package. <laughs> Spiralactone, one a day. Lantus Solar Star for my diabetes, two shots at 56, one in the morning, one in the evening. Okay, we have. Ferrosamine, which is basically a water pill to help 
remove the water out of me. So the thing is on that is sometimes I suddenly get dry. Very dry. Uh, Caveterol or something like that. Carvedilol. I'm not a doctor. So don't be surprised if I pronounce these wrong. It's for my heart. Oh, uh, I take those two a day. Warfarin thins the blood. Take one and a half of those a day. Get tested every six months. Then I have Ticacin. Take two of these a day. Uh, that's a powerful one, but you know, hey, it's what I need to take care of my health. Now, let's see what else I got. Oh, Chloricon, which is just a. Uh, because of some of the pills I take, see, I've heard a lot of times, and I've felt this way too, vitamins are kind of useless. But when you get to your health being so bad, Vitamins are putting back things your body needs to rebuild what it used to do naturally. And that's what I'm doing now. That's why I call it supplements. I have Corcon, which is also some medication I take depletes this out of my system. So some of these are to replace in my system what other medication is destroying. Um, magnesium. Lots of that. Vitamins. Yeah, we're under the vitamins now. Oh, wait. Did I mention the Cinepro? I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Fish oil. Multivitamins. It's always good. Just a general basis of those. I got CoQ10, which is for my heart, which reminds me, I've also got a liquid um, l carotene that I take. Uh, that works with CoQ10, which both of them help rebuild my heart as well as actually help with my metabolism a little bit. Also on that really is a D-ribose. That really helps me uh, perk up a bit, get energy enough, because the problem I had before all the vitamins were added, I didn't have enough energy to get up and go do anything, so I was never going to lose the weight. You know, and I can't drink caffeine, can't go drink a Red Bull. All these things affect my heart. So you have to find other ways to deal with it. Now, also though, some other stuff to kind of help out and round out. I try to get some general vitamins. I go down to like the dollar store, you can get a bunch of these. But things that help me with the uh, weight control, as well as things that will help me... Uh, fight illnesses, you know, like vitamin C. Extra vitamin C is always good. I know it's in the multiple, but I still would pro I still need more than what's in here. Then we have uh, vitamin Ds. I don't go out in the sun as much as I should. Um, don't like it, really. But I also get vitamin D from it. So also we have uh, some little, like, raspberry ketones, things like that. Stuff that, you know, help curb your appetite a little bit or help, you know, speed up your metabolism. Those last ones are more of just things that I pick up to help booster my immunities a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of pills. Um, also, I take a different kind of shots called Humalog. I also take another one, it's a darker brown one, called Humalog, and that one is, I test my blood, check carb, you know, the ingredients on the, the uh, pop can or food or whatever it is, kind of work out ahead of time how much it's going to put into me so I can take a shot to bounce it off so it stays below a certain point. Um, my blood sugar has been known to shoot up to 600. Worst part about it is I don't feel a thing from it. You should feel it. When it gets down to healthy range, I feel as sick as a dog. Now, I'm going to show up here and give you the weight. I'd already actually checked it. 
um, during one of the times when I was talking here in between. And it came out to 319.4. I'll still show you though. Keeps me honest. And uh, we're going to look at some more. I'm gonna, oh, I've been also trying to do some uh, Tai Chi workouts. The um, Kun Chi. Uh, it's the form part of it that the form of it that has more to do with flexibility, which is really an issue, especially with my legs and feet. Now, next one of these, I'm gonna go into more what's going on with the legs, feet, and actually it's spreading to my hands. Used to draw a lot, I had to give it up. I can't draw anymore. My hands hurt too much. Um, good thing I took computer animation and other stuff. But everything you've seen is stuff I created years ago, and I'm just cycling through it all. More information on that, check out one of the damn st the uh, production meetings online. Uh, we'll see ya. Have a great day. I'll keep up at it. I'll keep trying. We'll keep driving that weight down. I'll be here forever. <laughs> May take me that long to get a million views. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Hello. I don't know, my sunglasses on. I can't talk. I can't be on TV. Okay. Ah.